Welcome to Cakers Chat. My name is Juliet, and I will not be talking about cake today. What I will be talking to you about is how to get an overlay onto your Facebook Live. Today I did some live streaming with a overlay and a lower third uh, with my logo and the guest's name on it. And I've been getting so many PMs and emails about it, I said, why don't I make a quick video on it? Okay, so what I used to do it is a second party broadcaster. Facebook Live is a first party broadcaster. Your second party broadcaster is basically um, taking all your components that you want to use and throwing it into Facebook. So it's an app. Uh, that's first off. You cannot use it on the computer as of yet, that I know of, but you can use it on your iPad. This is what we have in front of us, an iPad. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is download the Switcher uh, Pro or Switcher Studio onto your um, iPad, your iPhone, whatever you're using. Um, and right now, I believe this program is only working with iPhones because of the cameras, because they all have the same cameras. The Androids do not, all, all the Android phones have different cameras, so they're not working with them, or they're working on trying to get to work with them. So for right now, I think it's iPads and iPhones for now. Uh, so you're going to want to download that to your devices. Of course, like most apps, there are free ones and then there are the full version. Um, let's go into here and take a look what we have. So immediately when you go into the app, you're going to be asked whether or not you want to use it as a camera or a switcher. So that's pretty self-explanatory as far as the camera is concerned um, and the switcher is basically the controller so which are you going to be using as your broadcasting uh, controller here I'm going to be using the iPad as my controller and um, and already we see that the iPad has the camera on hit this icon here at the bottom if you see this this is where you want to connect with all your cameras so here it's saying the built-in one is checked this blue mark here says that it's checked so that it's on in order to flip the camera around to use the front camera hi here I am it's here so or I can flip it around again and get that so that's how you control that. That's pretty easy peasy. Um, so the next thing that you're going to do, I'm just going to flip this around so I don't distract myself by looking at myself. Um, so here, this is an important icon. This is where you connect to whatever uh, you want it to connect to, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, and I think they do other stuff. So you're going to go to this output page. It kind of looks kind of like a satellite icon. You're going to hit the plus sign. And there you go. You can connect to your Facebook Live, your YouTube, and I believe there's more providers that I have no clue with these other things, but I'm sure they're pretty um, awesome. So you hit your Facebook if you want it. And right now I'm already linked into it. So you basically just sign in and then it would give you uh, what pages you want to link into and all that stuff. So right now uh, I'm already linked, so it has my password and everything like that. So I'm going to hit Facebook once you have all your passwords in there and stuff. So I'm going to hit password, I mean, excuse me, Facebook, and it comes up with this. So now it tells me where am I going to stream it. I could stream it to my timeline, I could stream it to my page, I could stream it to my group, or I could create an event, which is kind of really cool. Um, so anybody who subscribes to an event can see it. In my case, I subscribe to a page. Then it, I can get um, a, a bunch of pages that I can go ahead and subscribe to. So I could subscribe to Cake Girls Chat. Then I create the name and um, a little description. I don't really find the use for the description, but it, the title's pretty useful. You want to uh, more than likely uh, stream probably medium or high. In other words, if you're streaming HD, uh, you, you need to have the equivalent power in your Wi-Fi, so keep be cognizant of that. 
So once you have that set up, you're going to click uh, stream to Facebook and you're still not live yet. You're just basically setting it up. So you're going to click stream to Facebook, click OK. And then, okay, we're still not ready to broadcast. Why? Because we don't have our overlays. So then we're going to click this star here. The star here says graphic elements. Now this was apparently um, an item that was just added and it's super cool. So you're going to click the plus sign right over here. And then you're going to add whatever you want. All your icons. Your icons should be, um, it, it could be in your photo gallery. Let's take a look in here. I don't really have much going on in my iPad as far as my photos, but whatever you have in your photo stream, you can put on there as an icon. Um, and then I'm going to switch over to my computer to show you exactly how I did it there. Yes, low battery. I get it. Um, and that's basically how you put on your, you add your overlays. So whenever you have your picture up right over here, here you go. If I click on it, it says this little marking here that says live in red and it shows you what's live. This was today's overlay. That was super cool and super fun. And if you want to start the broadcast with this, to say broadcast will begin shortly. That's really neat. And stay tuned. Whatever it is that you want to put there, you know, your logo. This, this was kind of awesome. I just like left it there you know while i sat you know set up the broadcast um and waited for people to come in because sometimes you have to wait for people to come in so that's how you add your overlays and graphics was i went into where the satellite is where the output is and advanced settings pardon me so it's advanced settings so when you say see the live outfit you can go anywhere between 960 times 540 or 1280 times 720. What I found is that it doesn't really make a difference because it's live streaming. I think anywhere, I think 960 times 540 is fine unless you're con connected to Wi-Fi directly. It won't go 1280 to 720. That might be accurate. It may not, but 960 and 540 is fine. Why do we need to know those numbers? Because now we're going to make our overlay. Where did I make my overlay? Well, I will show you. And this is just Switcher Studio, uh, the website. And I'm gonna go over to, let me try to pan out here for my computer so you guys can see it. I'm gonna go over to my Photoshop. And what I did was I opened up Photoshop new and here I'm gonna go for 960 times what did I say 540 I think just for the sake of example your resolution is gonna be 72 because it's going for the web does it make a difference because you're gonna um, webify it so this is what your background should look like you're gonna add a layer Cause you're not gonna you're gonna need transparency but for right now to create whatever you want you could put it here and you just create a way and you create your I'm trying to type over this camera thing oh and maybe I can take away the cake dummy <laughs> I was using that to hold the iPad before Okay, so that's an overlay, and once we save it, it'll have the transparent background. A lot of gaming people, this is where a lot of this information comes from, by the way. The gaming people, they do like these super neat layouts. So I can sit there and do this as my lower third, and I'm just totally just messing around right now. So basically this is it, right? I mean, I'm just you could do whatever you want, put your logos, apply your logos. I'm not going to go into a Photoshop um, 
lesson, but if you guys want me to, I can. Um, just email me and I will be willing to do that. So you're going to save this as whatever you want, sample. In this example, I won't. Um, and then you're also going to go for, this thing is shaking, uh, save to the web. So when you go for save for the web, you're going to go into the upper, oh, excuse me. You're going to get rid of this thing. Then you're going to go to save for the web. Why? Because we want the transparency. So go to save save it and then save for the web when you're saving for the web you want it to be a PNG 24 basically it's just saying I'm gonna give you the image as much as possible without taking up too much space and so this way that your image can come up as quickly as possible without taking up too much of bandwidth so here it is you're gonna save it save as find it, send it to yourself, either put it in your Dropbox or you could put it into your cloud or wherever or what I did, I did it the really um, old school way. I emailed it to myself and then found it in my, uh, I saved it to my iPad and took it from there because I just wanted a quick fix. But in other words, you need to save it to your desktop and then send it wherever you can ex access it from either your phone or your iPad, whatever you're going to use as your switcher or your remote control. So that's basically it. Um, that That's really basically all I could uh, say about that. This was the overlay that I made. Um, and uh, that's basically it. So. Let's go back to here so you can see again. It is called Switcher Studio. Okay, so in order to put everything live after you've finished, got, gone through all your settings, your cameras, your outputs, where you're going to send it off. You've already said you're going to send it to Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're going to send it off. And then here you've got your overlays. I'm going to pick that overlay right. So we're going to let it, that stay there. Um, so now everything's set up. So what I do is when I'm ready to actually go live, I'm going to hit the record and broadcast. I'm just going to do that real quick. Am I going to go anywhere right now? I don't think I'm going anywhere. I hope not. Maybe. Um, but because I didn't set anything up to any of my pages, I'm just, what's going to happen is it's going to record to my device, whether it's my phone or whatever I'm using as the switcher. So to turn off your recording, you're going to hit that button. It's going to go ahead and actually send it to a server and wait until it's complete. If you're looking for your list of recordings, you hit that button right there on the upper left hand side. These are a list of my recordings, basically it. And then you're live and you have it recorded and you can do save it wherever you please. You can see again, it is called Switcher Studio. Check it out. And again, it, there is a free one and then there's one that uh, has a lot more gadgets and there's so much more you could do with this. This was just a quick overview, okay? So uh, have fun and tune in. Talk to you soon and stay sweet.